Hello and welcome to Present Arms on Linux. Today I released a new open box and I thought I would show you through the features etc. I'm hoping my audio is okay at the minute so we'll carry on. Anyway I've made a quick virtual machine up here. Um, it's Linux of the 64 bit of course. Uh, 4 gig of RAM 2 processors. Uh, KVM parallelization, 128 mega video RAM, 18 gig hard disk, and let's start this off. I'll just make this a bit bigger. In fact, I'll make it full screen. Yeah, I'll show it this again. So I'll let it boot to the. Uh, this is booting live by the way and it is a faster boot time than it used to be um, we've quickened some of the stuff up as you can see it's asking me for my keyboard and the screen's decided to resize itself <coughs> so this is the uh, desktop so far unusual that is muted Let me just have a quick check on that. Oh yeah, he's there. So, I'm not quite sure why that got muted. Oh, it's not muted anymore. Okay, it's just my fault. Anyway, let's install this. Uh, for some reason in open box, the installer does open full screen. Not sure why. I haven't got around, not around to it, just don't know why yet. Anyway, we'll go next. And we use the free space because that's a blank. So we'll do computing total size. One is that we're going to form as and we have. And so we'll let the installer. This is going to take about three minutes, I should imagine. Uh, the clock showing 12 o'clock on the clock there. Uh, the actual time because it's set to another time zone it's actually 6 p.m. as I'm starting this off but I'm glad it's on the error so we'll let this install I'm not going to pause the video um, I did do uh, a how fast you like it on the last or so but there you go So I hope you're having an all wonderful evening. Um, while I'm here, I may as well just meet my phone a minute. If anybody rings, I can ring them back after I finish this video. So after one minute, we're roughly halfway through. might I might even do another video one day where I actually I think I done one before but I can always do one again my arm of how I actually set up virtual machines for various distros and so on um, I'm a bit of a PC Linux OS uh, fanboy though it has to be said people like their peppermints and people like their mm, MX's MX is a very good system as is peppermint by the way. <coughs> now like they and Ubuntu's and the Arch and their Manjero's. Me I'm Peace Linux OS it's yeah yeah. I'm not making excuses for it. I love this distro. I've been using it a very long time and it's my home. Okay. It's nearly at the end of installing all it needs to and the minute it should ask me about the bootloader at least I'm hoping I can still see the actual hard drive flashing on the actual ma main machine and I'm hoping I closed all the background processes down before I started the VM up and that it's not doing something silly so anyway, I have now got please wait. 
Ok. Okay, we've got the Grub2 there and it's going to install to the SDA, the boot device. And it's saying delay before boot up image, 10 seconds. That's in just in case you have other OS is installed. I'll give 10 seconds. That could be reduced or extended. <coughs> Again, we'll go with the defaults. And it is now right into the MBI. There we go, we've finished. Okay, all we got to do then is reboot it. So right click and reboot. Um, I'll show you some features of oven box as well. Okay, just tell me to think. As you can see, it's on kernel 2 5.2.8. PC last 4 which is the fourth version of that kernel it has it is using the new GCC you see it was compiled using GCC 9 point something I believe it is I could have a look so we got a blank screen at the moment and this is its first boot okay we're at the time zone and again the screen is resized and shoved everything top left which is fine so just let me oops I've gone past my time zone GB yes password time for the root password there we go okay so Get to the uh, GDM screen here, sign in, and I'll show you around the block. Okay, we'll start off on this is Tint 2 panel, by the way. Oops, sorry about that. Now, Tint 2, I've got like the clock with, with the date underneath it. The time is near correct, by the way. Got mixer, it's actually called mixer icon, and you right click for to open up. Um, Pulse audio. Um, it's actually picking something up there. I'm not quite sure what, but I haven't got any inputs defined. That's let me know I've got internet, and that's the HP icon for those. We've got HP printers, etc. People can get get confused. What's this water? Well, water is the name of the desktop. There's four desktops. There's water. There's fire. There's earth, and there is air. <laughs> Uh, along the bottom here, I've got some tools. So here, it looks like I've got two of the same. You'll find that this is the root version of PC ManFM, and this is PC ManFM for the user. We also got LX appearance and configure your computer along with LeafPad. Okay, so what did I install for this? Well, obviously I've got Brave Browser there, and if you open Brave Browser, I did notice someone commenting once that. <coughs> Um, I didn't have Brave as uh, I didn't have the web browser pointing to any kind of stuff so what I've done is I made two pages up I didn't make the pages obviously but I put them into the setup anyway of, of the web browser so now you can get to either the main piece learning XOS forum where you can find me there most days and my website of course um, which I haven't put the announcement on for uh, this open box release. As I said, I've only opened it, released it today. I've not done the web thingy. This is from the 10th of August. Um, we've actually done the Big Daddy Trinity ISO. So, anyway, that's Brave. Oh, and you're probably wanting to know about Brave. 
It's version 0 0.67 uh, based on Chromium 76. Point zero point three eight zero nine dot one hundred official build. Uh, why brave? Because I got tired of Firefox. Um, I don't know what it is lately about Firefox. It isn't rendering pages. And anyway, I can use Brave to <coughs> for my Chromecast. Uh, now, did I put that? in the settings no but it can be done anyway under applications we got more applications you've got the battery now battery should have showed up in the uh, <coughs> down here that's something I didn't do but there you go it's no biggie I didn't put it in an auto start situation we got got stop. so while we're running that I remember Brave was running I am running that was that 320 uh, Megaboy's 219 somewhere around there let's see what he's taking up oh ACPID ok fair enough oh no that's the bottom one and uh, we've got user pearl let me see if I can extend that oh it's done it Apple. ok fair enough that seems to be taking 2.1% of memory for some reason but that's no big deal so what else have we got? Now put Secura, which is our uh, terminal terminal emulator is Secura. The virtual box manager it gets down the latest version of virtual box from the virtual box site or other places. Uh, VMware Power Manager is the same. Excel for those unwanted windows that do not want to die external external root <laughs> uh, th there is a reason for those and I've got the uh, Brazio CD burning suite uh, I don't have a CD burner on this but yeah it's 3.12.2 it's now version 2010 I'm not sure if there's an update for that but it still does everything you need it to do As you can see, um, where else am I? Oh, we've got the vulnerable time shift, of course, and X archiver. X archiver is 0 0.5.4. For your zip needs, your archiving and crunching needs. Configuration, yeah, AR and R, Bluetooth manager. Uh, caffeine, X screen saver, configure your computer, the PC Linux OS uh, control center on the PPC here. Oops. <laughs> DCOMF, DD copy, DD copy is just an excellent tool. It really is. Um, that, that, that tool's never let me down when copying an ISO to a USB pen. But, um, fixed touch pad is for those with strange. I'll just load it up here. As you can see, there's use default <laughs> and so on and so forth. I normally use the Elin Tech one because I don't get kicked to tap and so on if I don't. Um, but yeah, you just literally click on that and you can view. And if I click on that one and view, it tells you what kind of stuff it's going to be putting into, um, I think it's Wood 5.0. Synaptics in in the X server part there. So anyway, that's a nice little tool. G particles, group to splash. Group to splash is another nice little tool um, where you can literally drag and drop an image. Supposing you don't like the Grub splash screen like I've used the boats in Grub Plymouth all the way through to the desktop. Supposing you don't like that and you just want to use something different, you can either do the Grub 2 splash screen or both. You can that and you literally drag and drop your images there and that will sort that for you. An excellent nice little tool. Uh, also on here HP device manager of course. 
Same facts, LibreOffice Manager that downloads the latest and greatest LibreOffice. The latest is installed, but when an update comes, uh, as soon as it's announced on their website, basically, you can install it from there. Alex Appearance, of course. At the moment, I'm using the slickness. Got his colour themes, and I'm using the victory fonts this time round. Well, no Alex appearance, of course. Um, of course, I've got nitrogen for a wallpaper changer if you want to change wallpapers every so often. And there are some wallpapers, I'll come to them in a minute for you. NTFS configuration tool, the open box menu editor, of course. I'm back to config manager, the tint 2 and tint 2 settings, window effects, and the XCOMP manager for a bit of eye candy. In development, I've got Genie in the icon browser. Now, for some reason, LibreOffice 6.3 base has gone there. Uh, under editors, I've got Genie and Leafpad. Genie is also an IDE, which is why it's under development as well as editors, it is a text editor. Education, Libby 3 Office Maths, you'll probably see that pop up in the <coughs> other places. Under file tools you've got Bitwarden for encrypting your folders etc. But it's split for cleaning them. But if it's for cleaning clean even deeper, you've got the desktop preferences which is the um, back end to the pack PC Man FM which handles the desktop PC Man FM and which package it's a query as to which package as what on the graphics we have Blender which is Blender which is not coming up oh it is um, yeah we can do like Blender Dark etc next and blah 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 so I'll click outside of that and there is Blender there in all its glory. That is the app. So I do like actually uh, also Dark Table. Dark Table is excellent for touching up your photographs. But don't need anything like GIMP for it. Of course GIMP is installed. Um yeah, we have GIMP. Um just by the way, we'll get Blender back up. Uh, just for a second there, and it's taking a bit of time on the but we're at two version 2.8 so it's the latest version of blender I thought I just wanted to show you that uh, dark table we got flame shot for our screenshot it goes down here into the stitch tray down here and when you click it just does a rectangle and then you can do many things with it it is really nice uh, let's go back to that and close that because I haven't actually done anything. Um, education without graphics still. Uh, we got the GIMP course. Uh, and I'll colorize the buttons this time. Someone moaned about them having no colors on the buttons. So I thought this time, okay. I and mean, it's still 2.10.12, which I believe is the latest version still. We'll go back to graphics again. Uh, we got the simple scanner course and uh, SGV resize, which is an icon resizer. If you wish to do that. Internet, we got Brave Blazer, which I already showed you, I believe. Close email for our email. Our network center for setting up your Wi-Fi and Ethernet. We have the next cloud desktop sync client for those who run the ne next cloud server or able to connect to a service that does run one. Nitro Share is the business. You're running on two different computers <coughs> and you can just share files across them very quickly across your local network. Uh, we have a Qubit Torrent for your torrenting needs. Rambox. Rambox is a unique piece of software. Uh, it does. It's asking to download Pro, blah blah, don't need to because all the services are here anyway. 
and you can check with all these protocols I mean all of them Mastodon so you can set everything up all in one place I do believe it's actually based on Chromium it uses a Chromium base uh, about Roombox Linux uh, Chromium version 69 on this one so we do have that and that's just quit out of that uh, okay also yeah run box was the last one there office as you can see we got the uh, 6.3 version uh, did you know okay blah blah show tips and start up I'll cancel that uh, help about and it's 6.3.0.4 which as of when I done this a couple of days ago was the latest so first since uh, we've got cube clean GUI cube clean is for when you get errors in synaptic or the way it happens is like this and it has happened to me it's where I've forgotten to plug my lappy in and I'm there updating hundreds of packages just saying and the power's gone laptop's gone so now it's got duplicate packages Keep clean and of course it won't update because it's thrown up an error about these duplicate packages so to clean to your Wi finds these packages and it cleans them out so you're able to run your updates LibreOffice Manager literally updates the LibreOffice or you can remove it totally if you don't want it localization managers if you leave somebody else and that part from the US and UK no problem uh, Snapchat of course VirtualBox Manager and VMware Manager the science is out ok under sound we've got audacious for our uh, sound including visualizations and so on and so forth and we I'm pretty sure if I look under let me just click for visualizations and more plugins we have a lot of plugins installed for that as well I did fill the plugin up there so that's our media player for music you'll be wondering why there's some doubling up between sound and video anyway Presadio again you can make audio CDs but Pulse Audio Bank Control PLC and YouTube downloaded GUI under video I did put in OBS you'll notice these on VLC and audacious this because they can actually play movies audacious as well as playing your mp3s you can play the soundtracks anyway that is a quick look round <coughs> uh, what I've installed if we go to desktop proofs and click that and go to wallpapers you can see there is a lot of wallpapers that I installed uh, and not only just there but I believe there should be some let me scroll up a bit here for you because I want to go to backgrounds there it is and under mate we've just got a couple of abstracts wallpapers there of course Um, desktop wallpapers for a I just need to make wallpaper pack to be honest and nature of course fresh flowers blah blah so you can actually um, <coughs> just for an instance anyway that is a quick look around my PC Linux OS I hope you've enjoyed it um, as much as I have now I am shutting it down I'm going to start it back up because you notice it did take a bit of a delay starting up for its first time so just a word of note when when it starts up first time 
it does take its time but as you can see once it has booted fairly quick and yes the resizing does take a few seconds for it to wake up there we go and run box there yeah that, that's something about run box which I will which can be sorted and I will show you how if you go to edit and no it isn't edit sorry file and preferences start up automatically no save right that will stop that booting up again here you go anyway as I was saying that was my look at my OS for open box hope you enjoyed it if you have give me a thumbs up if not give me a thumbs down and all will be forgiven you take care and see you all soon